And Denson going to finish this one with a flourish. You betcha. A shuddering hit. Oh, no, an and an intercept. Hello and welcome to Leicester Forest Rugby Club for a very special Friday Night Lights. Denston College against Ipswich School. These two expected to run each other very, very close indeed. Joining me in co-commentary is going to be Lucas Ward, sadly injured from the Denston College ranks. But before we get to Lucas, we're going to have a quick run through the teams before kickoff starts any moment now. So, Denston College, well, they're led by George Perkins, the England under-18 open side, with Ned Corry and Ollie Reedy the side of him. Ollie Musk and Dan Green in the second row, with Anthony Jehota, Harry Clark and Henry Mountford in the front row. And in the backs, Nick Galley, Noah Reaney, Elliot Smith and Alex Garrett. They are your halfbacks and centres. And the back three, Charlie Hart, Jack Cowgill and Joe Dixon. Subs, Charlie Collier and Lewis Robertson. Director of Rugby, Rupert Harden. Ipswich School, well, what a team this is. Led by Harry Simpson in the centres with Ollie Saddleton, his centre partner. Victor Tocker and Rory Hollis are his halfbacks. Billy Reid, Bruce Bolton and Eduardo Tadardo. Look out for him. He's an Italian and he's only 15 years old. Lucas Nisbet Hadaway, Louis Mayo and William Lamprell make up the front row. Albert Dimitriev and Rowan Burke in the second row. Joe Mallet. Mark Van, H v uh, Mark Van Der Veen, apologies, and Bobby Eaton Collins in the back row. Tom Dye, Ryan Bourne, and Conor Marnie on the bench. Director of Rugby, Jacob Ford, of course, a very famous family, the Ford family. Now then, Lucas, wishing you could be out there, I would imagine. Uh, yes, very much. Uh, it's uh, painful watching sometimes, you know, just really want to jump on the pitch again. Been a strong start to the season for the boys, though. Yes, very, uh, really good. Uh, NSB, close game, but I think we've uh, identified all the areas which we need to improve on. And last week it was St. Peter's and put a good number on those and see how it goes today. Absolutely. And that Northampton School for Boys game, a real game of context here. Of course, we saw Ipswich play Northampton School for Boys last week, just edged out by them. Denston College the week before just edged out. NSB, so we are expecting this one to be very, very close indeed. Denston College clearing their lines early on. Now, Denston, by the way, their numbers are all mixed up, but I've uh, just with seconds to go before kickoff have received a bit of an update on who is wearing what. So I will try and keep you up to speed with that as much as we possibly can. Victor Tocker getting the ball away for Ipswich. Big carry and a big tackle in return in the midfield. Stay with me, stay with me. Which back row was such a feature in their carrying against NSB. What will they do tonight? Hollis, his passing, always a, have a good feature. 
Part and of the there in the number five day. shirt, just knocking on through the tackle is Jack Cowgill. Playing on the right wing, but wearing number five. We've got two number fives today. Ollie John Musk in the second row and Jack Cowgill on the right wing. Fortunately, rather different body shapes, so you should be able to tell them apart, I think. First scrum, guys, okay, back, back row, full arm bind till the ball is out. Docker readying himself to put the ball into okay, the scrum. In. Right, Bobby Eaton Collins Bind. in the blue scrum cap at the base. Set. Will he try and have a run at the Denston College midfield early on? Was a big scrum from Denston. Good. But Toka has to go dig digging for it. And Hollis releases his back line. Right to the width from the off go Ipswich. Denston College more than a match to it. Joe Dixon. Thank you. That fullback in the 15 shirt, making the tackle. Guys, I'll put you there. Numbers there, boys. Coming up from the backfield, yeah. and Dixon Lucas is a man to to look out for tonight. Five called, boys. Five. Thank you. Dixon, uh, a top player for you, boys, isn't he? Yeah, perfect. There. Thank you. Uh, yes, very much. Lovely. He's Thank currently you, in the Leicester Tigers Academy, and he, uh, yeah, he's doing really well. A very exciting player is Dixon, and very ha helpfully has been uh, in contact with us today, Absolutely just to give us a fine. few bits Absolutely and pieces. So thank you, and Joe Dixon, the Denston College fullback, and his forward packer on the rumble. Dan Green wearing four, <laughs> making the charge. Seven's good. But Seven's over the top four. of it, Roll Mark three. Van Der Veen, Seven the Dutchman the for Ipswich School. He had a blinder sure. in defeat against NSB and he started this one very well indeed. Dead, sir, push you see here, the end. Massive carry from Green. That's your turn, guys. But Van der Veen, there, boys. Five. passive as the second tackler so there that he can get over the ball immediately. The referee towards his side, the penalty. Scrappy ball at the line out though. Eventually finds his way to Hollis and now Van der Veen again who carries it across the halfway line. Scrappy ball though, tidied up by Lucas Nisbet Hadaway, but just knocked on beforehand. Some big carrying from both sides. Sets of forwards early on, but that one just not quite going to hand, pass a little bit behind the man. But Hadaway. Good first scrum, guys. Same again, please. Chance alongside his front row colleagues, right, right. Louis Mile and Will Lamprell, though. Twos are in, right? Crap. To put Denston College under some pressure. Find. Some top, top Set. players in both front rows. Harry yeah. Clark, Henry Mountford in the Denston College Good. front row, both involved in the England under 18 training camp next month. Wouldn't it be gone nice if that out. squad was released? Here, okay? It's gone straight out. It'd be a white line, white thread. OK, Blue, we're going to put you on the end of that line. Cheers, boys. There we are, guys. Always a shame. It's through rumour and Chinese whispers that these squads come out. I think these boys deserve yeah, the best. There. Thank you. Encouragement and support for such an incredible achievement. On the pitch, though, Harry Clark to throw into the line out. Another one of those Tigers Academy men. Throw just over the top though, and it's tidied up by Ipswich into the hands of Van der Veen in midfield. Again, he makes good ground. Dimitriev looking for his back line. Finds Ollie Saddleton. He gets up to halfway. Switch trying to get on the outside and finding some success in doing so. Right out to Bruce Bolton on that right wing. Bolton still going, gets the offload away. To Tadaro, Tadaro rather, into 22 now. Go Ipswich, fast ball. Oh, it's a big, big impact from Denston College in defence. Ipswich still showing real ambition to get the ball out onto the fringe of the defence. Bobby Eaton Collins on the charge. He's just tackled by his opposite number, Ollie Reed. Now they go. Charging at the try line to Ipswich. Fast ball once more. 
Denston College offside, I think I heard. Ollie Reid had tidied it up, but it'll be a penalty Ipswich, who are keen to go fast. Hollis does go fast. Rowan Burke. Nisbet Hadaway across the line. Has he got it down? No, just short. Good decision making from the loose head. The boy getting held up. Hollis goes short to Van der Veen, and Van der Veen is across. Mark Van der Veen. We've mentioned him a couple of times already, and now he's made the ultimate impact with the first try of the game. The open side flanker capitalising on the great work. First through the back line from Ipswich, and then the power game through the forwards. And Lucas... A tricky one for Denston College right at the start of the game there. Ipswich with the early score. Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, offside, we've been working on a lot, so I think we'll be a bit annoyed about that, but hopefully we can correct some mistakes and give it them back. There's one thing we can be sure of with this Denston College side, it's that they'll be doing everything to give it one back, as you say, but the power coming through from Ipswich once they got close to the line really was outstanding. But I think what's notable in the early period of this game, as we see Van der Veen crashing over again, he's carried so well early on. What's notable in the early part of this game is the way that Ipswich are looking to get the ball right to the fringe of the pitch as quickly as they possibly can. Kicking off, no, Rini, fly half, wearing 19. Had anticipated okay, him wearing 20, but he's in 19 as the young fly it's half. But it's stolen at the breakdown by Louis Mile, I think. And Ipswich looking pumped First in the one. early part of the game. Clear release. Second looking really neat and tidy on the deck, aren't they? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think we just need to get our speed to the breakdown a bit, a bit quicker. Like set. Denston, put you on the end. Five Mile court, it was. Yours is the line. Straight over that ball. Yours is the line. Fantastic work from the young hooker. On the end of that line, one, one, move. Thank you. Really are two terrific the ball, sets of front rows that we've got on the field tonight. Yeah, yours is the line. Look out, by the way, for Will yeah, Lamprell. Will Lamprell, when he gets the ball in the loose. All over the top of the line out, but it's tidied up by one of those props. Nisbet Hadaway. Stay left, stay left, left foot, left foot, left foot. Good. David. Through Hollis. And to Simpson, I think that. Time off. Thanks, boys. No, that's good. Stay Hollis. Stay off. Just caught a bit of a bang in that passage of play. So Time we'll off. have a bit of a break. Thanks, boys. Thanks. And a chance, Lucas, just to talk to you about That's good, mate. life at Denston. What have you What have you done to yourself? Uh, yeah, so uh, in training last week, uh, just repping out lineouts, uh, came down and landed on someone's foot and just rolled my ankle. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, gutted about it, and especially since it's at the start of the season. But hopefully, I'll be back to it soon. Are they giving you any any sort of time frame? Uh, about eight weeks, he said, but get the MRI, MRI results next week and go from there. Yeah, well, hopefully hopefully a speedy recovery. It'd be nice to see you at St. Joseph's Festival or something, wouldn't it? That'd be a cool one to aim for. Uh, yeah, definitely. That, that, well, that's what I hope for, but if not, then Sedba, which is in about seven weeks' time. Uh, a massive game, that one. We've had the chance to see them already this season. They are looking sensational. And a word on uh, on George Perkins, your uh, your open side flanker, obviously toured with England under 18 in the summer. Must be quite cool for the boys having him come back with that experience. Has he has he been out on the training field, sort of giving everyone a few uh, a few of the p things he's picked up over there? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, polishing up everyone's skills and pushing them pushing them further so we can do the best we possibly can. Good to see as we see the, uh, the Ipswich players. Having a bit of a chat, Jacob Ford there in the foreground. Younger brother of George and Joe. Son of Mike, of course. 
keep expecting George. Mike Ford to turn up as an assistant for one of these Ipswich games George at some point. But George, well, Jacob needs the help, to be fair. Absolutely smashing it between Ipswich and that two rugby, I think it is, with Barry St. Edmonds. Should know that. Barry St. Edmonds, my former club back in my youth. Blue in, in, in just in possession. Teams get their uh, get their skills drills going. What's your favourite injury timeout drill? D the old classic through the hands. Uh, yeah, you know, just standing, chucking a ball around. Uh, not much you can do, unfortunately. Just rest up and recover. Yeah, I was always in trouble for just wanting to just get a ball on my own and just have a bit of a chat with someone and just a bit like these two are doing actually just a bit of a chat chuck it around I don't need anything too formal yeah definitely been a big week here on Next Gen 15 third live stream on the trot we were up at Saracen Stone X on Wednesday evening taking in Haytherbury against Blundells dramatic game that was Blundells took the victory but they had to hold Haylebury up over the line in order to secure it in the very last play of the game and then last night oh what an occasion down to Clifton Rugby Club for the Ryan Bresnahan Memorial game between Clifton College and Kirkham Grammar School an absolutely sensational game two of the finest teams in the country absolutely going at it Kirkham Grammar School just edging it 19 points to 17 built I think it was a 19-7 or a 19-10 lead but Kirkham Grammar School came absolutely charging back into that one late conversion might have levelled it but left enough time on the clock for them to have one more go but Kirkham Grammar School be their skipper Darren Lowe getting the turnover to seal the victory an absolutely incredible game but more importantly an incredible occasion in memory of Ryan Bresnahan raising money for a life for a cure. Raised over half a million pounds. <laughs> Ryan died of meningitis B back in 2010. A quite incredible one last night and we are all set for a cracker here. Certainly if the opening nine minutes here at Leicester Forest are anything to go by. Cracking game on our hands. Mark Van Der Veen that's the difference between the two sides at the moment he got the early try there he is in the centre of your field wearing number seven strong start to the game I see the replay here as Ryan Hollis comes off on his feet which is good to see and I suspect we will be seeing no more of him this evening look at that replay Van der Veen absolutely crashing over. So we're about ready to get back underway. We start with a scrum and it'll be a Ipswich put into that scrum. Seven points to nil. They lead. And we're ready to go. Here at Leicester Forest RFC. Home club, by the way of Lewis Robertson, one of the Denston College substitutes. So he'll be okay, feeling pretty familiar when he gets Crunch. on here. Bind, set. Away oh. we go. Docker yeah, gets the ball away. Everybody's on. Looks as though Tadaro is the man who's stepped up into the 10 shirt and wizardry with his feet as the young Italian. Ipswich still keen to move the ball tackles. to those coasts, but it's a big tackle from Perkins there. Okay, let go. But not rolling, having completed the tackle. So Ipswich will have the penalty. Thank you. You have it. Let the ball go, okay? Just on the wrong side there, George, okay? But is that what we can expect from Perkins as this game develops, go. that big physicality let in defence? Okay, don't hold yeah, him. definitely. Uh, I think they need to be uh, careful at the rooks as well. Uh, he's... He's a bugger for those. He'll try and jackal and steal as many balls as possible. Why to put you there? Is that okay, 
Five just not guys. quite managing to roll away from that one though if I remember rightly as well a bit of a technician at the line out I seem to remember doing a Denston game last year and Perkins was all over just about every line out ball as well yeah he's a real danger in every area um, but I don't think today you'll get a chance in the line outs but we will see in other places on the pitch certainly will and to your point he wasn't involved in that line out and it's him taking the ball in that 12 channel and giving Nick Galley, the Spaniard, a chance to clear his lines and clears his lines really well. But Tadaro, not Tadaro, in fact, it was Billy Reed dancing away there just to find a bit of space back into the hands of Galley, the head boy here at Denston College. But it wasn't Galley, it's was Noah Rini. I'll get up to speed with who's wearing what number at some point, I promise you. Touch, yeah. Thank you very much. Touch. That's good. Thank you, mate. That's good. What's it there then, Blue? Ball. On what? A really tricky one for Tadari to deal with. Yeah, on there, that's fine. 22. Okay, actually just skipped off Cheers, his hand. Mate. That's good. Denston opting for the line out, though. Stay there, guys. Stay there, guys. Collected by Ollie Musk. Penalty there, guys. Okay. His first appearance, points, appearance of the season, having suffered a break of nose in pre-season. Rear foot, rear foot, rear foot. Be quiet, now. Perkins receives the offload from Ollie Reed, okay, but over the good. top goes Lamprell. Three blue pulling the ball down. But Lamprell was atoning for an earlier Three error, blue, pulling the ball. having pulled them all down. There you go. Denston will go into the corner. Watch your boys, yeah. Once that mall are going, guys, can't pull it down, yeah? There we are. Six called. Yeah, perfect. That two two is good. On the line, and really. A big, big opportunity oh, this for Denston College. Six men called in the line out. Seven metres Six out. Called. Down the line, Perkins, guys. you can see at the tail there. Yep, let's go, Denston. Second rows now. Walk in. Goes to that man, Ollie Musk. Brought down safely. Now the rumble begins. Ipswich do well just to halt the momentum and now get a bit of a drive backwards, but Denston roll around the left hand side. Hands away. Rear foot, guys, rear foot. Goes to deck, but the ball is available. Josh now. Hands away. Hands away. Hands away. Ipswich scored Short from this kind of position. Can Denston College return the Hands favour? Jehota carries that one in. Perkins now goes. Hands away. Short. Just a metre shy of the try line now. Offside, guys. Harry offside. Clark playing Short. with penalty advantage now. Ipswich no, no, creep no. offside. Okay, offside. Clark thought he had it down, but he was short. So we come back. For the Wait. penalty. On the line. On the line. And it looks as though Ollie Reed wants to go quick. And quick he goes. Inches short of the try line. Rear young man to five. Move. Clark goes again and gets across the line. Harry Clark at the second cut. Time of asking. Scores for his side. The power game came on from Denston College. And there was just nothing that Ipswich could do about it. See it here, it was Reed that took it in from the quick penalty. And Clark getting ever so low and across the try line. And your boys are going to be happy with that one. Yeah, definitely. I think now just go again. Clark. Looks like that's not the first time he's been sniffing around a try line. He got himself nice and low there. Yeah, normally he finds himself on the back of the malls and getting nice, easy tries like that. But, you know, it's good to see him putting him in the hard work. And It's always nice to see a hooker actually having to work for their try rather than just hanging off the back of a mall. Conversion doesn't quite go, so Ipswich hold on to a slender lead. 
Seven points to five. Van der Veen, and energetic as ever, is the first man there, ready and waiting to go as his teammates suck in the oxygen on the way back. Just waiting for a ball. Now one pops on. You go when you're ready, Harry. Go on the kicker, lads. Yep. Harry Simpson, the Northampton Saints centre. The man to kick off. Carried in by Ned Corey. Good Denston College going off their feet at the ruck, and that's not what they needed. Straight after scoring, giving away the penalty. But another injury. I mean, another bit of a break. One, you're right. Noticeable feature actually in the school game this year is just how much care is being taken for injured players. Medical staff really taking their time just to make sure everyone is okay or otherwise. And so important. Seeing the headlines through the summer, seeing the changes on the field immediately. Nice physicality. Right, what will the messages be out there, having got the try yeah. back? I think it'll just be up the physicality to the next level and carry on going. Certainly a physical contest so far. Suspect. You're absolutely right. We're going to be seeing plenty more of that. And Ipswich with a chance to flex their muscles. Five Ball pumped into the 22. Hold, hold, hold. It'll be mile to throw in. Ball goes long though, so Clark tidies up at the back. And Clark stretches his legs a little. Stay there, guys, Good. Denston College looking to play from outside their own 22. Getting the offloads away. Into the hands now of Elliot Smith. Wearing 20 in the inside the centre channel. Not on the ball. Stay. Stay. Galley's kick just touched. Sits up nicely though for Bruce Bolton. He's run in to the clutches of the Denston College forwards. But they were too tempted and went high. So it was a penalty. Ipswich taken quickly by Van der Veen. Now Ipswich look to put a bit of width on it, but the Denston College defence is up fast. Advantage is over. Advantage over calls the referee as. Billy Reid tries to make it through Just the gap. Forward, guys. No advantage. Scrum. Wait. It is very noticeable 13, guys? that Ipswich are looking to go wide as early as they possibly can. Weren't on the ball there, guys. Okay, that's why we played. Just wait for 13 there, fellow. Okay. It's uh, no, lost Reed by blue. Yeah, lost got by himself blue. through. <laughs> Tadaro trying to pull out the magic. Wait for 13, here at Leicester Forest right, doesn't quite come off that time but just a sample of the sort of thing we can look out for the young Italian tonight just went over up just slipped up yeah yeah anything over here anything over here right that's good Bree just explaining what he's looking for in terms of tackle height okay this no worries no worries Harry Time's off. We're wait for Harry him. Simpson just down with a bit of a knock. I think he's going to be okay. Seeing the tape come out. Always a sign of an intention to stay on the field, the tape. Just wait for Harry to get his boots done and we'll be good. Strong physio team at Ipswich School, by the way. With them for Samurai, actually, back in... Uh, Summer of 2021. 16 for the break, guys. In my case, they were just applying sun cream. Just slipped up. Summer yeah, heat. Yeah, yeah. Anything above. I say applying. Passing me the bottle. Will Lamprell there. 
Facing us, holding on to his shirt. Tight head prop for Ipswich. He's a real player to look out for tonight. Who are some of the lads on the Denston side that we need to be keeping our eyes on as this game progresses? Uh, here, guys. I think everyone's yeah. a real threat, but uh, you've got George, um, Henry, Harry, the England boys, and all the Tigers lads. Alex Garrett in the centre, and uh, Jack Cowgill on the wing as well. Everyone's a threat. You're the ultimate teammate. I wish I'd played with you. You'd have been the first person to call me a threat. Okay, Harry, we good? Time back on, guys. There we go. OK, guys, just lost forward by blue in the tackle. There's your mark, fellas. White scrum. Henry Mountford, by the way, wearing eight. So you can see. So apologies, apologies to him if we've been calling him Ollie Reed at times. Ollie Reed is also okay, wearing guys, eight. OK, guys, twos are in, right? Tapping down at eight. Bind. Set. Kit supply issues. Hold. Ball's out. Ball is out. Oh, well seized upon by Victor Tocker. The Ipswich scrum half, that was op opportunistic to get that ball. His team are up to halfway, eight, are they? Hands on the ground, hands on the ground, back on the ball. But one of the eights had their hands on the deck. So Ipswich have the penalty. Dimitriev carries it in. Oh, it's a big carry from the second row. Lamprell now. Again, another big carry. Good. Switch working it through Saddleton. Tackle release! Good, thanks, Tackle made by Chihota. Padara just having a little dart. He's moved up from 15 to the fly half position after Hollis went off with that injury. But it's a penalty, Denston College. And Perkins just issuing the instruction to his team just to stay calm. Penalty, just isolated there, Blue. Back. Terrific player. Not sure about the haircut. I'll put you on the line there, Blue. Is that okay? Sorry, no, you're back. You're my bad, my bad, my bad. You're there. Put you there, fellas. Straight over the ball from the Denston College Numbers skipper. There, boys, again. Five, thank Absolutely you. no chance. Yep, Moving on there. him out the there. way thank there. You. Long and the short of it is Ipswich. Are back inside their own half. Denston College throwing into the lineup. Collected by Ollie Musk. Goes down Four. early, but illegally so. Four. Four. Victor Tocker doing Ruffles what every form. good nine Ball does. Ball was Just there. Pretending he thinks the, the penalty's for him. Remember, as soon as they're bound on, it's a more. Yeah. There's yours, boys, okay? See it here, collected by Musk. Line out is outside the Dimitri 22. Have outside the 22. Thought he managed to get Musk. Six called, boys. As Six a tackle, called. but the mall had just formed around him. The moment that he started you making the tackle. Two or ten. You can come in. Yeah, thanks, mate. That's good. Thank you, sir. Dimitri have just wait for a ball, fellas. Got to be so sharp on your timing in those situations. Okay. Conference there between Clark and Chihota. Perfect that. Line okay, out call good. sorted. My money's on Ollie Musk. No compete. Is indeed. Play on. Good. Musk brings Ball. it down again. <laughs> Clark in that position at the tail of the mall that we spoke Must about earlier. Now right. goes to the ground though. An ip switch. There's the ball, guys. You've trying to flash over ball. the top, Rip but up. it's tidied Who's? up by Denston College. Stay with me, boys. Good lads. Competition on the floor is huge. All popped away by Noah Rini. <laughs> Taken in by Alex Garrett. But Garrett mark, yeah. is pounced upon by Will Lamprell, the Northampton Saints man. And Ipswich go fast through Nisbet Hadaway now. They really are keen to impart some pace on this game. Good, guys. Well done. Oh, the Good. Suffolk side. Yes. Through goes Ollie Saddleton half. Tuck, so difficult to put down. But now right. Perkins competing on the floor. Good. Doesn't the opportunity though? Referee told him to move. Van der Veen takes it in this time. Battle between the two sevens is getting really interesting, isn't it? High. Connor Marnie tackled high, but again Ipswich go quick. 
Their aims in this game becoming very, very clear, but over the ball. Nope. Ollie Reed, that time one of the two number eights, but I think I've got my bearings around which one's a prop and which one's a number eight now. You're the man in the know. That Jackal's was Ollie Reed, wasn't it? Uh, no, that was Ned. Ned, yeah. Right, at some point we're going to get there. Ned Corey. Thanks, Roy. The only lower sixth in the team. Uh, yeah, you've got uh, Charlie on Collier on the bench as well, who's also in lower six. Uh, so once I'm sure he'll come on don't, so and make a big bench. impact. In fairness to yeah. you, as soon as he's banged on, it's a more. Ned Corey is in fact wearing six, so it's it's just me being Time unable off, guys, yeah. to see rather than any sort of shirt uh, issue in that on that occasion. Uh, ten and a half. Time's off, guys. Could have got away with that, couldn't I? But you've got to own your mistakes. As you say, though, Ned Corey, the only lower sixth in the starting team. Charlie Collier on the bench. I'm told he's going to come on as a prop. The back row convert. Feel for him there. That's not meant to happen until you hit your late 30s. But someone goes, do you fancy a game in the front row? Different game nowadays, though. Not the only convert in the Denston College side as well. Elliot Smith wearing 20, but playing it inside centre. Back rower in his lower sixth, playing in the centres in upper sixth. So for my, my interpretation, as soon as he's coming down, as soon as someone binds on the mauled form, Explaining to the Ipswich forwards him, yeah, what was different from Maul no. to Maul. Dan Green, another convert as well. There's yours, guys. And he moved to Lock last good year. Luck, okay, numbers there, White. Green Harry, you good? Wearing four. Harry's good. But on your team sheet, tonight there's five. Okay. There in the front of your screen, Ned Corey. New to the school this year, started every game. That's me being blind again. Okay, time back on. Six time Ollie Musk, that was, wearing five. Okay, sir. When you're ready. Quick trip to spec, spec savers might be in order at the end of this one. That's good, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Same all there, guys, same all. Denston College. He's come through the middle. He's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Well, I was going to say on the rumble, but Van der Veen had nicked Tackle. the ball through the centre of that mall. Eventually, White is it last touch then off you? I think. It looks yeah. as though yeah. Ipswich are bundled okay. into touch. Okay. Bit of a discussion about who has come off and what's going on where, but I think we've settled on a Denston College lineout. Well, that could have, that could have come off year. anyone. Fair play to the referee for managing to work out what on earth that's has happened there. Numbers there, guys. Five. You know what? I think he may have made the right call. Fair yeah. play to him. It's good. Musk collects the line out again. Garrett goes charging through. With me, boys. That's good. A physical meeting in the midfield there. Which nothing there, mate. No, 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 well, but on the charge goes Elliot Smith. But once again, when under pressure in their own 22, Ipswich come up with the turnover, and it's that man, Mark Van Der Veen, with his mitts all over that one. We're in a pattern of the game here where Denston it's College are getting plenty of possession, plenty of territory, but time and time again, Ipswich are coming up with the answers when they need the most. Van der Veen so quick to get over the ball there. Split second stuff. Ipswich claim the line out through Burke. Look to move it again. Suspicion of forward on that pass, but referee will play it, and Denson College will be very, very happy 
that they played it because it gave Perkins a chance Nine, to get seven, over the ball. Seven of it. Perkins just asking how long left on the clock. Yeah, it's good there. I think because he was debating whether or not to go for the post or not, given the location of the penalty bang in front of them. But with a bit of time to play, he's asked Arini to pump the ball into the corner, but instead it's a crossfield kick. Ipswich alert to it. Huge tackle coming in on Alex Garrett. Tackle, hands away. But Denston now. Hands away. Inches from the try line, working their way over it. But again, the big turnover. Will Lamprell. His second huge turnover. Three on his feet. Jackal. Back again, boys. Backing up the work from Van der Veen earlier. Lamprell. As the ball just flies between <laughs> between us here up in commentary, that was a hairy moment. And it was nearly a hairy moment for Ipswich. So Clark go around the fringe. And then look at that from Lamprell, straight over the top. Denying Denston College the opportunity as Van der Veen carries off the back of that line out. Ipswich through Nisbet Hadaway. Tadaro nothing off there, his feet there. are magical. But he needs support with him because Perkins has mopped up yet another Four. turnover. Four. We are seeing a battle royale <laughs> on the floor. Leave the ball, please. Superb work from both teams at the turnover. Penalty for throwing the ball away. Perkins penalty having the ball away. won the turnover has given away the penalty for chucking the ball away. Kick doesn't find touch, so Denston College possession in the backfield. Back, you white, 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 white. back, back, back. Marini pumps it deep. Nadaro is going to have a little look, see what he can find. Stay there, guys. Rub. Thundering tackle from Denston College, but Ipswich get the ball away and look wide again and find a bit of space here. Van der Veen again operating in those wide channels. Oh, the handling is lovely from Ipswich. Bobby Eaton Collins now no, takes no, no, it no. in. Stay, there's the ball. Use it. Stay. Yes, good. Again, the keenness to move the ball on from Ipswich. Three offloads there into Dmitriev. Denston College are over the Seven's ball good. on the floor again. And once again, it's Perkins getting the praise from the referee. He is having some kind of a game, George Perkins. Standard fair for him, or is this uh, is this exceptional? No, just like usual. Uh, we don't expect anything less from him. I think the lesson being learned out here is do not run at Perkins and do not run at Van Der Veen because... They will find a way. In fact, there's not even a way, even if you don't run him, Denson run at him. Perkins was miles six, away four, from the initial tackle there, but found a way four to get himself break, in position to get himself over the ball. He is cleaning up at the breakdown. Yeah, good there, thank you. Thanks, He's given his team an opportunity to have another rumble. Let's go, mate. Okay, there's no compete. Let's play on. It's good. Stay there, young man. Stay at the rear. Stay the foot. Harry Clark. Bursts around the fringe from that mall. Denston. Inches short again. And Oach is over. Now they go. On the line. On the line. Henry on the Mountford. Line. The tight head prop wearing number eight. Charges across the line from short range. I thought he was short, but he had the power to get over. The big mall was set up. Clark found some space. Was stopped just inches from the line. Uh, we've got and then the double player of the year switch. from last year, Henry we'll Mountford. Barges his way over the try line. And talk to me about Mountford. 
Yeah, cracking player, uh, really strong carrier and worked really hard on and off the pitch. Player and coaches player of the year last year, I think that says an awful lot about him. Yes, definitely deserved. Uh, yeah, really hard worker, amazing lad. Out for the scorer, Nick Galley. <coughs> Ed Boy standing over the conversion and absolutely nailing it as well. Denston College out to a 12-7 lead. And having gone 7-0 behind in the early stage of the game, Denston College have dominated the territory in this second quarter. Two minutes to play, says the referee. Denston College carry through Ned Corey. And Clark picks the ball up and finds yet more space. The hooker enjoying the ball in his hand today. And away now goes Elliot Smith. Into the heart of the 22. Clark again has a go. Oh, he's working hard as the hooker. Galley now out to the back line. Switch, side, not roll. working hard to get across, but giving away the penalty. Blue. Got to roll. Couldn't blue. roll out in time. Twelve blue. And Will Denston perhaps now with the clock winding down, up for points. No. Twelve just on the wrong side. Galley and Rini have a chat and go to the corner. And well, credit to the coaching staff because I know that below me they were What's very keen for that to be Blue, <laughs> going for the sticks. But what we love to see in school rugby, the yours, coaches Edward. may have an opinion quietly yeah. between themselves. They are very happy to leave the decision making to, to those break. out on the pitch. All part of the development process. Now that the, t the decision is made, just on the line there, fellas, you're good. Can Denston College capitalise? Line-out has functioned well so far. We've seen what good work they can do from these short bursts at the line. First job done. Musk collects and brings it down. Clark goes digging to get the ball to the back. Now he has it in his mitts. That's Woods, Denston, Woods! Ipswich countering really Down nicely, though. Right. So Jeez. Denston have to play, and Galley has a little dart through, and it's Galley across the line, he is. But he's held up. No, he's not. He's given the try. Nick Galley showing supreme strength. The scrum half wriggling his way. First up, then down, then over. Then I thought he was held up, but he found a way to get it down. And the referee, who was almost a part of the tackle, he was so close. Able to award the try and Denston College finishing yep. this half on the ultimate high. And I'll tell you what, that decision to go for the corner, more than paying off. Nick Galley, the try scorer, and it'll be him looking to convert his own score. Tough kick, but a good angle for the left footer. The right footer, rather. We've seen him. No one from the equipment position on this side. He'll be feeling good. Strikes it well and unlucky off the post. And that's half time. Here at Leicester Farmers, RFC, Denston College leading 17 points to seven against Ipswich. It has been... A stonking finish to the half from Denston College. So we go through a couple of the highlights here. Remember, it, way back at the start of the game, it was Ipswich that opened the scoring. Van der Veen, who's been magnificent so far, crashing over. Denston came rumbling back. First through Clark. Doing really well to get underneath 
the defense of Ipswich. And then with just a couple of minutes left in the half, Clark went darting off again. And his front row partner, and Leicester Tigers teammate, Henry Mountford, finished the job off, crashing over from inches away. And then with the clock in the red, they scored their third try of the half. Again from close range, but this time it was Nick Galley, the scrum half, showing great strength, great footwork. And that squirmy quality we always love to see from scrum halves to get himself across the line for his team's third try of the half, which left us going into half time with Denston College leading 17 points to seven against Ipswich School. We'll be back with you very shortly after a couple of adverts from our partners. And Denson going to finish this one with a flourish. You betcha. A shuddering hit. Oh, no, an and an intercept. So you join us again, second half, just about ready to get underway. Denston College, well, what a stunning finish to the half. It was from them. Two late tries to give them 17-7 advantage. And they've collected the ball straight from the kickoff. Dixon getting on it. Carrying through by Dan Green. Stay, stay, stay. Galley. Scrum half there, the final try scorer of that first half. Okay, tackle, hands away, hands away. Good. What can Ipswich do to respond? Well, first it's a dart from scrum half, Victor Tocca. Still got scrum advantage if you want it. Switch, will they maintain their policy of looking to go wide do you want as it, guys? often as they possibly can? Scrum advantage then, guys. It's no advantage, okay? Coming back for a scrum. Just lost forward by White to take the blue scrum. Perhaps the first sign that maybe they might yeah, yeah. be just switching up to slightly more direct scrum, okay. approach. No advantage, not half. Half. Same as the first uh, half, lads, okay? No pushing till that ball's in. So Ipswich have made a change. I think I can see Dimitri F there. In the foreground of your screen, holding on to a touch judge flag. Okay, twos are in. You happy there? Okay, right. So if we can establish who's come Blind. on in his place. Set. Up we come. Scrum time, a real battle. Nice long bind, okay. Loose head, please. Okay, up on the shirt as well. Speaking okay. of the front rows, Slowly one man has gone okay. off. Slow the engagement down. 
Anthony Chahota. He needed a shout out. Oxbridge candidate, first 11 hockey as well, and his brother played for GB. Decent. On in his right, place. Twos are in. Charlie Collier, right, just the second right. lower sixth man. Bind! In this Denston College side. Set! The back row convert we spoke about earlier. Stay there. Leicester Tigers Academy, and Stay you can there. see there he's a strong scrummager, isn't he? Ipswich get the ball away, though. Look to go wide once more, carried in by Bruce Bolton. De decisive tackle, but Van der Veen, good footwork from the open side. He's been such a threat, hasn't he, all game. Ipswich are maintaining this policy of getting the ball wide when they can, leaving back rowers out on the fringes and paying dividends. That's through the hands of Eaton Collins it goes, and now on to Ollie Saddleton, but he's bundled into touch superbly from Alex Garrett. Put you there, Blue. The Leicester Tigers, man. Yours is the end of the line. Decisive tackle, Numbers but wide. we see the interchange between the back rowers here okay, of Ipswich on the right-hand side of the field. Yeah, Mallet two, two, and Eaton that. Collins. And then Eaton Collins releasing Saddleton. Five court. Yeah, you're good the footwork from him, but Garrett with Five, great pace to get back and make the crucial intervention. Okay, sir. Stay there, guys. Denston line-out continues to function well. Picking out Ollie Musk again, and I suppose if it ain't broke, don't fix it on that score. Well, covered under the high ball by Bruce Bolton, and now Bolton breaking through the middle. Time and space. Picks the ball inside. There may have been space out wide. There may still be space on that left-hand side, but it's just slowed up. Oh, electric from Bolton. But a loose ball brings it all the way back. There you go. Denston in their eagerness to try and win it back. Give away. 15 white. The penalty for a high tackle. All right. The man to boot it into touch. But it was all about the Bruce there. Bolton break, wasn't it? Collected the high ball. Put his foot down. He was just trying White to find an option. Him. Denston College had them Yours covered the off. Line, White. Ryan Bourne appeared on his right hand so shoulder. Yeah, yeah, Bruce Bolton demonstrating that he is you come a threat on this right wing. Line out poached by Denston College. Clark tidies up. Hands away! In a Stay real influence in the game. Thanks, Shay. You're the guy. As Harry Clark. Leave him alone, please. Thank you, eight. Use! Perkins with the most enthusiastic caterpillar entrance I think I've seen in a long time. Collected by Conor Marnie. Marnie with a okay, little out the back pass. White, keep white the ball 19, in field. Advantage. Scrum advantage. And Tolato once again showing his footwork there. Okay, advantage is over. Carrying hard through the middle. And it's a bit Hadaway now across Tackle, halfway. Hands away! Hands away! Good. Van der Veen now through his hands. Saddleton. Saddleton is through. Saddleton is away. Saddleton in a race for the line. Big Fen comes in and the Big Fen has the desired result. Saddleton across the line. Ipswich. First blood in the second half, just like they had in the first. Ollie Saddleton. Superb solo effort. Take your time. Yep. Through the hands of Van der Veen and Saddleton with a big bump off in midfield. Has the footwork to get around the outside and gets the big fend away. And across the line. Wonderful score from Ollie Saddleton. Looks as though. It's Eduardo Tadaro that's taken over the kicking duties. It's young Italian fullback. 
a chat with Jacob Ford about him before the game. He's very excited about the potential this young man. Come on. Wait. Version. He is landed. And Ipswich have narrowed the deficit to three points as we see this try again. It had been a great carry from Nisbet Hadaway. That got Ipswich on the front foot. And then the ball through the hands to Saddleton, who just went all on his own. The power, the speed, the footwork and the fend. Stunning work from the Ipswich centre. And they've got their tails up now, haven't they? Looking to play straight from the kickoff. And oh, if that ball had stuck, there was space for Ipswich to get through. Billy Reid, if that had stuck, oh, they could have been away. Second sub here, guys. Here's your mark, boys. See it here. Yeah. This bit had away. Okay. We're on. Oh. Reid, I don't know if he thought the pass was coming. It was maybe a bit high for him. So okay, unfortunate. Scrum down, Denston College ball. Okay, that's Perfect two, platform to respond right. to the Ipswich Bind. score. Set. Stay there, middleman. Stay. Stay. You, to the back, you, it's you. Messi. So they give it straight to the back line. Ball squirts around. Lewis Stay Robertson guys, is on, by the way. Good lads. Okay, Man we'll taking that one into contact. Boston College working so hard to try and find some space, but once again, look who it is over the ball. Van der Veen, this battle of the sevens, is proving the compelling story in this game. And another one is the performance of this young man, Tolado, as he breaks through. Looking to find space. Salado over the top to Billy Reed, but it's forward. Oh, it was nearly brilliant. It was oh so nearly brilliant from Salado. Huge tackle, but it was quick ball. And the short pass and Salado only too happy to waltz through that gap. Here it is, boys. Good footwork to evade the tackle. Ball went forward, guys. And as the players flock to him, he looks right. for that over-the-top pass. Inside but it 22. just floated Inside forward. 22. Denying Billy Reid the opportunity to score. Okay, but putting Denston College under all sorts right. of pressure. Right. They've got a scrum on their own 22. Bind. Set. Hold. Hold. They'll be looking to clear their lines. It's a big scrum from Ipswich. Second big one in a row. Use, use. Stay bound on. High pressure. Here at Leicester Forest. Ball bouncing, tidied up by Reed. Reed sends the ball long. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Reeney looks to find some space. Ball sits up. Big pass from Galley. Tocco, rather. Up to the try scorer, Saddleton. Saddleton still going somehow. Saddleton still going. Saddleton eventually brought down. Tolado digs one over. There is space there. Bruce Bolton chasing, but the ball beats him and beats Garrett. And just floats out. What's you there, boys? Ollie Saddleton, oh, he's come to play in this second half, hasn't he? Numbers there, Impossible White. to put down. Five, four, thank you. Come on, White, let's go. And Denston College, quite rightly, just trying to take a bit of the sting out of this game. Yeah, Slow yeah, to approach there, this line out. Seven, you're right. George, you good? What a terrific start to the okay. second half from Ipswich. Yeah, um, I think okay, we should get our act together and. 
Yeah. <laughs> Give it. Yeah. Stay, guys. Wonderful summary there of Six the out. action out here on the field. Yeah. No, no, 17s. 17 out. 17 it's been a flying out. start to the second half from Ipswich. But Denston College have a penalty in the bag and are marching forward. Do you want it or use it now? Gally, given the option of whether he wants the penalty or not, and is very, very happy to accept the penalty. Denston College succeeding in there and just happens. taking no the sting out of this. And Rini go to touchline. Stays in field though, so a chance for Ipswich to counter, and we know they're going to want to. That's the way they've been playing all day. Tolado just about escapes the first tackle. Tip by the second, and the ball spills forward through it. First one was all right, second one. And Denston College. Just lost forward of it. Another scrum. 80 yards up the field from where they started. Yeah, we've got 16 laces as well. Kick stayed in field. Ipswich were keen to play. We have 22. Bardic trying to get on the outside, trying to create that overlap. Okay, lads, we're good. But yeah. the second tackle came in from the big man, Henry Mountford. Ball so was again, dislodged. Again. Engage with nice and slow, guys. Okay, same as last time. Mountford, an absolute rocket in the tackle. Okay, twos are in. Right, crouch. Oh. Bind, set, hold, hold. Ball at the base, it's clean ball for Ollie Reid, and Reid gets no, into the 22. On, no, Clark gets his hands on the ball, and now Dan Green tries to get the offload away, but it's not forward. Okay, boys, thank you. Just lost all right, thank and Ipswich you. celebrate, forward, then, chap. surviving that one. Are we Two minutes left to play, ball, just about. Tension it's starting to build that here. Okay. That Leicester Farmers. Not Leicester Farmers, Leicester Forest. I don't know why I keep saying Leicester Farmers. I know why, it's because I was held up in traffic by a, by a tractor on my way in and it's been on my mind. There's your mark, fellas. Change for Ipswich. His bit Hadaway comes off. Tom Dye comes on. Okay, lads, twos are in. Right, crouch. Bind. Set. Hold. Nice, Jota. Great scrum. Oh, could it have been turned over? After he says the front rows have come up. I'm going to come this Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Thank you. Back on, by the way. For Denston College is Anthony Chihota. Looks as though Mountford's having a rest and Charlie Colley has moved across to the tight head side. In fact, Mountford, I think, has moved into the second row. Okay, twos are in. By the look of things. Bind. Set. Big scrum from Ipswich last time. By Denston last time. Use, please, right. use. And it's another big use, one from Denston. Ipswich just about managed to tidy it up, and the ball spilled. Loose ball, which way will it go? Goes the way of Denston College, they'll have a scrum. A big moment that for the men in white. I need you square. Been a big start to the second half from Ipswich, but Denston College now with a scrum in the Ipswich 22 and a chance to launch something. What can we expect here? Off the base of the scrum or release the back line? Uh, ooh, I'd probably off the base of the scrum, yeah, eight, nine, ten, maybe, and then let the backs do the magic. Right, twos are in. Right, crouch. You heard it here first. Let's see what happens. Bind. Set. First job, get the ball to the back. We're gonna reset. We'll have to wait a little minute before we get that first job done, though. Scrum goes down, we'll go again. Okay, 
Let's get a bit closer together, boys, if you can. Thank you. 100%. Bit closer. It's been passive all day. Everything's, everything's off the boil. Carries off the boil. We should be winning this game, I think. Denston College. Right, Crouch. Go Bind. again. Set. This time, the scrum stays steady. But the ball hold, hold, blue, doesn't use move. Light, use light, use, so digging goes use. Reed. It spills out towards Galley, and Galley releases Rini. Tackle release. There it is. Well, it was there's a fashion one, of eight, nine, ten, but it was scrappy Good. ball, and it's turned over by Ipswich. Ipswich carry into the heart of the Denston defence. It was a huge tackle from Charlie Collier. Rear foot, guys. Massive tackle from the young prop. Thank you very much. Good take from Dixon. Not had much opportunity with the ball in hand as the fullback. Bit of a shame because he's an absolute magician there in the backfield. Stay, there, Stay good, lad. Well done. Galley feeds his back line and Clark is almost through. You've been tackled, muscles. But it's a penalty to Ipswich as Clark, overexcited by making the half break, wanted to keep going. Ipswich keen to go fast. They put boot to ball. Will it stay in field? Yes, looks as though it will. Dixon takes it at the second attempt. Every scrap on the, the floor is hard work. Dmitriev giving away the penalty, but everyone is having to work so, so hard on the floor for absolutely everything. Barely a second to breathe out there. Sorry, Mike. Love you. Very kind to the Ipswich player there to apologise to our microphone. Yeah, laces there, boys. Billy Reed. I wonder if that's the only inanimate object he speaks to. We'll have to ask him. Why do I go here? Let's go, let's win. There's yours in blue. Seven. There's middle. Seven. Denston College line out. Yep, really good. Thank you. Yep. Harry Clark to throw in. Let's go, guys. What? Yeah. His usual go-to is off the field now, so he goes to Perkins. Now they feed the back line, punching through the midfield. Go Denston, Mountford now. Hands on the floor, hands on the floor. Reini. It's wide. Yeah. Ball yeah, spilled though. Hip switch are going to look to go yeah. from deep. Playing scrum advantage, Blue. Scrum yeah, advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's use it, please. Let's use it, please. Usually you're going to go to the boot. Sending it high. And okay, that's a no wonderful box guys. kick. Come back. Knock on. Scrum blue. No advantage. Possibly, though. Okay. He was outside of the 22, so it's gone straight out. We'll come back, so Ipswich will go back to that scrum. Big collision in the midfield, that. Between the two inside centres. <laughs> Elliot Smith and Ollie Saddleton. Yeah, he just... Yeah, no, George is good. Hey, good question, mate. It's a scrum. Oh, it's a scrum. George, I blame the nine for kicking it straight out. Good leadership from George Perkins. <laughs> Not every day that a referee tells okay, you that you've asked a good question. Just outside the 22, because it was taken back in. OK, Liza, nice and square, please. Okay. I'll have to get the young Denston open side running some coaching Set. clinics on how to converse with a referee. Set. Clearly doing so oh, oh. with some success there. Stay, guys. Use. Good. Ipswich looking to play once again. The ambition has been incredible from Ipswich. Billy Reid takes it in. Chris Bolton, rather. Tolado gets the offload away. Dimitriev now back on the field. Nisbet Hadaway receives his offload. 
Perkins is well cleared out, crucially, by Harry Simpson. It's all tight quarters okay, now. Accidental offside. You just accidentally offside. Scrum, okay? Six, scrum, scrum. You just want, yeah, scrum. Accidental offside. Just all got a bit scrappy, Six, but. Just bumped into. It's nothing there. Denson doing a good job so of managing to just slow down the Ipswich ball when they get out into that fringe that fringe area of the field. Accidentally, one in look at six. Yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, that'll give us time to, you know, set a defence and get good line speed off the edge. Hopefully, force a turnover. George Perkins, they've got an absolute turnover merchant. Better Keep referring to it. The same again. But the battle between okay, him nice and, and okay, Mark right. Van der Veen right. on the right. open side flanks has been exceptional. Set. Turnovers okay, by the use, fistful use, for both use, of them. You stay there, scrum off. Galley, the back line. Right. To the hands. And Charlie Hart is to ground. A bit of a mix up in midfield, but. So actually, you're offside there, yeah, you're man, you're offside. And it ends up in an offside against Enston College. Perkins is going to get away to score, but he's going to be sorely disappointed to find out that the penalty was, in fact, against him. White's in front, White's in front George, okay? I'd like to know what he thought the penalty for him might have been. Mayo. Oh, that's a wonderful carry from the Ipswich hooker. Good. Up to the 10 metre line. Ball spilled, but goes backwards. Taking the man, took the man before the ball. Oh, penalty Ipswich, and again they go fast. The pace they're wanting to play this game at is really quite incredible. The fitness levels. Oh, perhaps what they're banking on here is Mile goes through again. Two huge carries in succession for him. No, 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 no. But he's over the ball, he's gone. He's on the ball goes Joe Dixon. Well, I said we'd not seen much of him so far, but that was not the way I was expecting to see him getting the turnover. But then Denston getting drawn into this quick game, going for the quick tap penalty, knocking it on, and Ipswich now will have the scrum. Two brilliant carries in a row from Louis Mile. Dixon did fantastically well to get over the ball. But sucked into going for the quick play. <laughs> and Perkins, in his attempt to stop him, I think ended up knocking the ball on. You've got to listen to your skipper. Ten minutes, guys. Ten minutes. Last ten minutes. <laughs> Have you ever seen that before? No, no, definitely not. Um, I think we just need to slow it down a bit and Bind. make the right decision. Set. Hold. Ipswich, go blind. That's that man. It's Adelton again. Scored that wonderful try and he's had a big influence ever since. Dimitriev. Oh, another big carry from the second row. Patience. Patience. Mile again. Patience. Good clean ball, Van, Van der Veen. Takes it into contact. Denston up really fast that time. Dimitriev again. An ever willing carrier. Back the other way. Come Ipswich. Van der Veen, fast hands to Bobby Eaton Collins. There's number eight. Denston trying to hold him up. Garrett is underneath it. Tackle is called. Tocker feeds Mile. Mile again, a big carry. Bobby, go! Ipswich carrying really hard here. Half a look right now. They go left a mile again. Oh, how many times has the young hooker carried in this sequence? Hands away. There it is. George, hands away. Oh, it's turned over by Perkins again. But illegally so, I think. In fact, I think the turnover may have been good. I think his partner hadn't rolled away. So Ipswich go quick again. Of course they do. Now within touching distance of the try line, Dimitriev. 
carries high, but has the power to get to deck. Mile, once more on, driven back. Brilliant from Mountford in defence. Out to the back line, Tolado goes cross field. Tapped back, oh, that's brilliant from Garrett. But it was penalty advantage, so we'll come back. Time ticking here. Ipswich, three points behind. There's about eight minutes left to go. Ipswich, of course, they go fast again. Nisbet Hadaway now going close. Oh, almost an interception. Ball spills loose. Ball spilled forward. They were offside again, Denston College. Got to be careful here of the men in white. Referee's patience will run out soon. OK, we're not back 10. And we're indeed, he has a chat okay, discipline now. See where we are. with George Perkins, the Denson skipper. Last chance saloon for Denson College. Ipswich. Go short. Van der Veen scored the opening try, looking for another. This bit, Hadaway gets close. Out now, Tolado. Oh, he's well tackled. Oh, driven fantastically backwards. The young man, Tom Dye now on the carry. Work really hard there to get the ball back. They go blind this time. Tolado feeds it further. Scrappy ball, but the referee's got his arm out again. I think we're playing penalty advantage once more. Ball squirts loose, but tidied up. Dimitriev. Crucial moment in the game, this Van der Veen goes inches short. Back towards the blind side now. Mile again carrying. Oh, Tenston are working so, so hard here. Dimitriev, so is he. Driven Still backwards though. For one in that side. Ipswich playing Still with advantage. Tolado, oh, a little dink over the top. Where will that go? into the hands of Clark, so we'll come back for the penalty, and I think we may see a One. yellow card here. No, 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 Too many penalties in the end, says the referee, George, and Anthony Chihota is probably going to spend Repeated the rest the of this one Wait. in the bin. Wait. Wait. Referee, just noting that one down. Just an accumulation of penalties, that for Denston College but they are doing so well to hold Ipswich out here. You get the sense this is the game. This bit Hadaway gets the offload away. Saddleton carries in. Van der Veen goes again. Ball out, Nisbet Hadaway. He's across the line as he held up, though. No, he's not. Nisbet Hadaway gets the ball down. Lucas Nisbet Hadaway. Okay. Gets the try, and Ipswich are into the lead. Okay. Perkins got oh so close to holding him up, but eventually the pressure told, and Ipswich get the try. Four and a half to go, says the referee. We see it again here. Van der Veen got his side on the front foot. He was just short, it was fast ball, and Nisbet Hadaway crashing onto it. Gets across the whitewash. Four and a half is your penalty restart. Perkins was under it. 21-17. And then as we're shielded from view, the referee spots the ball, getting grounded in amongst all those bodies. And Ipswich, from 17-7 down at half time, have turned this around for a 19-7 lead. And the conversion is good as well. 21-17, they now lead. About four minutes left to go. And a four-point advantage for the Suffolk side. Denston College worked oh so hard in defence. And I think we're going to restart here with an Ipswich penalty. Denston College in their frustration at that try. giving away the penalty and it's a restarted penalty. Ball, I think, did it go straight out? So much going on here at Leicester Forest. 
ball bounced out and into touch. That's yours. Yeah. Numbers there, boys. Come on. Time off. Wait for the lace. Time is off. We'll have an Ipswich line up. Boys. Come on. Crucial possession. Calm heads needed for Denston College here. Time on. Yeah, definitely. I think if you manage to get a turnover, there's still three minutes left on the clock and I'm sure we can make our way down the field and get it in, get hopefully it in, score get a try. Okay. A loose line out is going to give Denston College the possession. Okay, Not straight, scrum all live. And they quite wisely choose the scrum. Two and a half minutes then to go 70 metres for Denston College. So so you need to drop they one. worked Guys so hard they at the end of that first half to build eight. that 10 point so advantage. Eight. But eight Ipswich drop. have come Number roaring back in this second Number half. Drops. You've got to go flankers, yeah? You are, boys, let's go. Two further tries, two further conversions for this four point lead. It's two minutes for Denston right. College right. to find a way. Two Set. minutes for Ipswich hold. to hold out. Hold. Oh, it's a big scrum from Ipswich. Reset, Goes round 90, so we'll reset. It's gone round 45. Or round 45 at this level. Straight. 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 No, gents. Just going round. It's gone round more than 45. Time off. Hip switch. Looking to make a change. Time is off. You've got a minute and a half left. Will Lamprell comes on for the try, score it. Lucas Nisbet had away. Lamprell, turnover king in the first half, wasn't he? Wait till he goes off, fellas, yeah. Okay, guys. Going to be back on Time to off. see this one out. Yeah. Denston College, remember. Playing with 14. Two in right. Like Crouch! Until the end. Bind. Set. Hold. Hold it there, Blue. Hold, Blue. Hold, Blue. Another big scrum from hold. Ipswich. Stay there, guys. But Denston secure possession. What can they do with it? Up across the 10 metres. Oh, it's a great offload off the floor from Dixon. Reeney. Took it in, almost turned over, but managed to get the ball back. Nothing there. Denston College working ever so hard to try and find a bit of space. High, high tackle comes in. Seven, and now suddenly that hope from 70 metres away turns into a little bit of expectation, perhaps. So they pump the ball deep. It'll be a line out. One minute, boys. About 30 metres out from the Ipswich try line. Moving towards that final 30 seconds. Stay there, guys. Stay there, guys. And into now or never territory for the men in white. Ball goes over the top of the line out but bounces safely into the hands of Rini. There's the ball, there's the ball. Stay with me, stay with me. Galley. Offside two blue. Offside Out to Clark, blue. Clark. Now Musk carries it in. Smith, bit of footwork, makes ground almost up to the 22 now on Denston College. Van der Veen nicked the ball, but we'll come back for a penalty. Ipswich are offside and bit by bit, Denston College are just edging their way ever closer. Another penalty, another chance to nudge the ball up towards the Ipswich try line. Time is gone. Time, for the line. Time is gone. This is the final play of the game. 
Ipswich have worked so hard to come back. Can they hold out? Or will Denson break their visitors' hearts with this final play? Clark to throw in. Musk is back on. It'll go to Musk. Musk collects safely. The mall is formed. Going sideways. I think Ipswich might have hands on. Clark's got his on too. Clark's wrestled the ball free. Van der Veen now challenging. Van der Veen is over the ball. Is he? Referee says he's not. Mountford into contact now. Denston College go wide. Dixon spreads the ball. Oh, wonderful tackling. And over the top of the ball. Go Ipswich. Tolano, the young fullback with the crucial turnover. Ipswich are going to win this game. If you tap it and then kick it out. All they have to do is tap it and kick rid. Simpson gets rid and they've held out of Ipswich. What a victory for Ipswich. From 10 points behind, they've turned it around. 21-17 victors. Denston College, oh, they were so, so close. It was a great line, but look at Tolado. Solo to the ground, gets himself over the ball. He's an under 16, that man. That boy, I should say, an under 16. But he has stepped up, moved from fullback to fly half after the injury to Rory Hollis. And he has made the crucial intervention in this game. Heartbreak for your mates, but what a game. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't come out the right side, but uh, I think a big thing was discipline for us, and we, sh we just need to work on it. Yeah, some crucial moments that swung the tide. The battle between Perkins and Van der Veen at open side was something to behold. That man there on your screen, Dimitriev carried like a beast and it was van der veen actually that got the scoring underway seems a long time ago now doesn't it the ipswich open side running the short line off hollis who was to shortly go off injured S seeing the power here that both sides had a real feature of the game, that power play. But coming charging back, we're Denston through Clark, who got across the line. As the two sets of players quite rightly applaud each other off this field. They have left everything out there to this evening. Two outstanding groups of players. I think we're going to see an awful lot of these two over the course of the season. A word there as well to Mountford walking through last. He had a massive game with the Tigers tight head and in fact it was he that scored the next try a big break from Clark and Mountford well you ain't stopping him from there are you not even the exceptional Van der Veen could do anything about that And then it was the scrum half galley right on the stroke of half time at the death. He managed somehow to wriggle his way over the line. I'm still yet to work out how he managed to shrug off so many forwards and get himself across, but get himself across he did. And it gave Denston College a 17 points to seven lead at half time. But Ipswich came storming out of the blocks in the second half. And this man, Ollie Saddleton, scored a try that just completely changed the complexion of this game. 
momentum completely shifted from that point and it was a wonderful solo try. Van der Veen with the offload. And that Matt Saddleton. There was a bit of everything in this try, wasn't there? First the power, then the footwork, then the pace, and then the big old fend. And the dive across the line. Saddleton had a massive game this evening. And then with time ticking, we were into the last five or six minutes of the game here. Van der Veen went close. And he gave quick ball for Lucas Nisbet Hadaway to get across the line. Initially looked held up, but as he wriggled and rolled there, he got the ball down. And the referee in the perfect position, as you can see there, pointing at the ball. Nisbet Hadaway put his side 19-17 in, in front. Eduardo Tadaro, though, banged over the extras just to take them out of penalty reach and then came up with the most astonishing intervention for an under-16, getting the crucial turnover out wide to give Ipswich School the victory. And we see it here. The young man, that's a moment he will remember for an awful long time. Tears the scrum cap off as well. An absolutely wonderful game of rugby here at Leicester Forest Rugby Club. Two outstanding sets of players and it all finishes up. Ipswich School 21, Denston College 17. Introducing Next Gen 15, the new home of School Rugby. Well, where does this come from? Covering everything the school game has to offer in both the North and Southern Hemispheres. Oh, it's a great tackle! Oh, it's not good enough! One, two, skip a few and with the wheels! Highlighting tomorrow's stars, Next Gen 15 will be bringing you live games and regular updates of all the news and in-depth views on the global game. What's the kick? All your school rugby, all in one place. This is Next Gen 15. Standing proudly, looking out from the centre of England. This school is our school. For 149 years, we have inspired, motivated and succeeded. Instilling confidence, achievement and happiness. In the heart of the country lies a once farm, which we now call home. Our school filled with history. Steeped in happiness and filled with memories. A school which has stood the test of time. A school of believers. This school, in the heart of Staffordshire, develops, provides and moves together. One school. When times were challenging, we pulled together. And when we celebrate, we do it as one. And now, with a salute to our heritage, it's time to look to the future. A shining beacon, an inspiring one. We know what we can become. We are honoured to walk the same hallways as those before us and passionate about leaving our mark in the history books. We are motivated by achieving our dreams and helping others through pupils, teachers, alumni, and legends. 
we are all one Denston. Return to Play is the UK's leading sports medicine provider for schools and clubs. We ensure sport is safer than ever by making it easy for you to provide gold standard medical care to your players. Our head injury and concussion care service provides your players with seven day a week access to some of the UK's most experienced concussion doctors who make sure the correct diagnosis is made and manage each player's recovery until they are fit to return to sport. We also provide you with the education, policy and administrative support you need to confidently manage injuries, giving you and your players' parents peace of mind. Using our innovative R2P injury management system, injuries can be quickly recorded, parents and staff automatically notified, doctor appointments booked, players' recovery tracked and injury analysis downloaded. Our system even integrates with other school systems, saving you admin time. Our full sports medicine service is tailored to your organisation's specific needs, designed to best support your sports programme and medical setup. It includes our head injury and concussion care service, plus weekly sports doctor clinics, access to physiotherapists, match day medical support and more. Return to Play are partnered with over 60 of the UK's leading schools and clubs. Get in touch to find out more.